Overengineering or overengineering is the act of designing a product to be more robust or have more features than necessary for its intended use or for a process to be unnecessarily complex or inefficient. Overengineering is often done to increase a factor of safety, add function or overcome perceived design flaws that most users would accept. Overengineering can be desirable when safety or performance is critical e.g. in aerospace vehicles, or when extremely broad functionality is required e.g. diagnostic tools, but it is generally criticized in terms of value engineering as wasteful of resources such as materials, time and money. As a design philosophy, it is the opposite of the minimalist ethos of, "...less is more", and a violation of the KISS principle. Overengineering generally occurs in high-end products or specialized markets. In one form, products are overbuilt and have performance far in excess of expected normal operation a city car that can travel at 300 km per hour, or a home video recorder with a projected lifespan of 100 years, and hence are more expensive, bulkier, and heavier than necessary. Alternatively, they may become overcomplicated, the extra functions may be unnecessary, and potentially reduce the usability of the product by overwhelming end users. Overengineering can decrease the productivity of the design team because of the need to build and maintain unwanted features. A related issue is market segmentation, making different products for different market segments. In this context, a particular product may be more or less suited and thus considered over or under engineered for a particular market segment. Topic: <laughs> Cultural references. A story about very precise engineering is given in the 1858 story The Deacon's Masterpiece or The Wonderful One Hoss Shay. A logical story by Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr., which tells of a carriage one horse shay. Because it had been engineered so that no single piece failed first, no piece was over-engineered relative to the others, and they thus all collapsed at the same time. A similar quote by Ferdinand Porsche claimed, "...the perfect race car crosses the finish line in first place and immediately falls into pieces." A modern example is Juicero, a Wi-Fi smart juicing press. But after its release, Bloomberg News published a story that showed that the juice packs could be squeezed by hand faster than the press, and that hand squeezing produced juice that was indistinguishable in quantity and quality from the output of the machine. See also Technical debt Feature creep Overqualification you aren't gonna need it, YAGNI.